The East African Water Tower became the East African Electric Tower, and China Dongfang Electric undertook the construction of Africa's Three Gorges project. In this video, let us learn more about it. Ethiopia, known as the Water Tower of East Africa, has abundant water resources but has long been plagued by a lack of electricity. The Jibu-3 hydropower station built by China Dongfang Electric Group, hereinafter referred to as Dongfang Electric, was put into operation at the end of 2016 with a total installed capacity of 1.87 million kilowatts. Now, with the completion of this power station, Ethiopia has completely bid farewell to the era of power shortage and the East African Water Tower has become the East African Electric Tower. At the same time, the Gib 3 hydropower station has established a good image as a Chinese equipment in Ethiopia and demonstrated the new development opportunities brought by the Belt and Road Initiative to both countries. The Gib 3 hydropower station in Ethiopia built by a Chinese enterprise is currently the largest hydropower station built in Africa, doubling Ethiopia's national power generation capacity. Driving to the Omo Valley in the southern state of Ethiopia requires climbing over high mountains. The dirt road under construction is not easy to walk, and there are many lakes along it. Although Ethiopia is located on a plateau, it is rich in water resources. After several hours of turbulence, a vast and calm body of water appeared among the mountains. The largest hydropower station built in Africa, the Gib 3 hydropower station, was right in front of us. The Gib 3 hydropower station is the third level power station in the cascade development of the Omo River in Ethiopia. About 420 kilometers away from the capital Addis Ababa, a total of 10 Francis turbine generator units with a single unit capacity of 187,000 kilowatts and a rated water head of 193.5 meters are installed. The functions of the power station are power generation, flood control and flow regulation. The Gib 3 hydropower station is a national key project in Ethiopia. It is also the largest hydropower station built in Africa and the largest energy project in Ethiopia. The entire hydropower station cost 1.8 billion US dollars. Among them, the electromechanical equipment and metal structure part is worth 500 million US dollars with commercial loans provided by the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China and constructed by Dongfang Electric. Walking into the hydropower station, 10 huge generating units are arranged neatly. The interior of the power station is clean and tidy, and the units that are generating power make a low and rhythmic sound. These generator sets are the heart of the entire power station, and they are all made in China. Construction of the electromechanical equipment and metal structure started in 2011 and took five years to complete. It only took 10 months from the first unit being put into operation in October 2015 to the putting into operation of all units in August 2016. One unit is put into operation every month, which set a new record in the history of World Hydropower Project construction. The project owner, Ethiopian Electric Power Company, praised the construction of the Gib 3 hydropower station for embodying China's speed. Chinese company staff call the Gib 3 hydropower station Africa's Three Gorges Project. This is because the total installed capacity of the Jibu-3 hydropower station reaches 1.87 million kilowatts. Ethiopia's previous total installed electricity capacity in the country was only 2 million kilowatts. This means that the Gib-3 hydropower station has doubled the country's power generation capacity. In the past, Ethiopia was plagued by power shortages. 
even in the capital, Addis Ababa, power outages were common. However, the Gib 3 hydropower station has allowed Ethiopia to bid farewell to its history of power shortages, and a considerable portion of its power is still available for export to earn foreign exchange. The Jibu 3 hydropower station has realized the long-cherished wish of the Ethiopians. Previously, some non-governmental organizations blocked the construction of the hydropower station on the grounds that it would have an impact on the downstream environment. Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam attached great importance to the Gib 3 hydropower station and frequently inspects the project. He said the project is of great significance to Ethiopia, providing 90% of Addis Ababa's electricity. The construction of the power station will play an irreplaceable role in promoting Ethiopia's economic development. Ethiopia has built the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway and many industrial parks are under construction. The operation of these ambitious modern facilities requires sufficient power guarantee. In the past, power supply was a major problem for Ethiopia's development with a huge power shortage. The power station not only meets domestic electricity needs, but will also be exported to neighboring Djibouti, Sudan and Kenya. The power grid connecting East Africa is under construction. Countries such as Kenya and Tanzania have very large power demands and will also benefit from Ethiopian hydropower construction. Therefore, the Gib 3 hydropower station is very important to Ethiopia and equally important to the power supply in the entire East Africa region. In early 2016, the Jibu 3 hydropower station was put into operation on time. The hydropower stations built by Chinese companies have brought electricity and light to Ethiopia. Ethiopia is committed to industrialization development. Electricity is the basis for economic development. The Gib 3 hydropower station will promote Ethiopia's industrialization process. During the project construction process, local workers accumulated rich and valuable experience. At its peak, the Gib 3 project employed more than 7,000 workers, and these workers will participate in the construction of the future Gib 4 hydropower project. It can be said that this project is Ethiopia's hydropower university and has trained many talents. The Gib 3 hydropower station turns the East African Water Tower into the East African Electricity Tower and is a landmark project of Chinese companies in Ethiopia. The research and development level and construction capabilities of China's hydropower units have been tested again in the world. The construction of this project has made Chinese equipment and Chinese technology a well-known brand in Ethiopia. Most of the project's equipment is made in China, including hydraulic turbine generator sets, etc., which has driven the export of Chinese machinery and equipment worth 2.5 billion yuan. Now China ranks first in the world in the field of hydropower construction and equipment manufacturing. China's engineering units, equipment manufacturing, design, and system integration companies have all grown up in the construction of domestic hydropower stations and have become internationally competitive. As a leading domestic manufacturer of power generation equipment such as hydraulic turbines and generators, Dongfang Electric has ranked among the top in the world in terms of production capacity of power generation equipment for 12 consecutive years. The Ethiopian owners and supervisors did not believe in Chinese equipment at the beginning of the project, but after witnessing all aspects of Chinese equipment manufacturing and installation, they fully recognized China's capabilities. Now more and more Chinese companies are participating in Ethiopia's economic construction, not only in hydropower, but also in wind power, 
power grids, railways, highways, etc. Water resources are a resource given to Ethiopia by God, but currently the installed capacity of developed hydropower stations is less than 10%. Ethiopia is undergoing industrialization in full swing, and electricity consumption will increase significantly in the future. Currently, Ethiopia is still building the Renaissance Dam with an installed capacity of 6 million kilowatts and the Gib 4 hydropower station with an installed capacity of 2.1 million kilowatts. The completion of these two hydropower stations will make Ethiopia's electricity supply more abundant, and the country will become a veritable electricity tower of East Africa. Africa is very rich in resources and some countries have strong development needs. However, due to the relatively backward level of the country's manufacturing and power equipment fields, there are no corresponding contractors or manufacturers to provide reliable products. It has long relied on equipment suppliers from developed countries in Europe and the United States to provide services, and the relative prices are much higher than Chinese products. Coupled with strategic adjustments by European and American financial institutions, Africa's energy development has not received much support. China has provided various forms of financing support to Africa, including prime loans and commercial loans, to help Africa develop infrastructure and promote the going out of China's equipment manufacturing industry. After many domestic and foreign project tests, Chinese companies have the ability to provide high-quality and low-cost services and have the ability to participate in international competition. The Belt and Road construction will drive the development, transformation and upgrading of the entire equipment manufacturing industry. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.